Well, Dylan, I finally got back to Cape to Cuba. I was here a long time ago. That's where I got this cap from. And it's an awesome cap, the yeah. beret. Yeah, the beret. But, the, but this is a, this is one of your first, this is one of your, well, actually your second one. This has the good quality. That's why it's faded, you know. The other, other quality I got was a little, I don't want to say polyester, but I don't know. I'm not, I'm not criticized. And I have the first cap, the one with, with, uh, with a Che on one side and the yes. flag on the other. I got that, but it's falling apart, you know. In well, fact, I'm, I'm, sorry, I'm sorry, there's a big, there's a, there's a picture that Pan-African Space Station has because I used to be a, on, the, on the transmission board of Pan-African Space Station with me with that cap on you know, uh, uh, um, behind the transmission desk. That's a famous picture with Pan-African Space Station. Desk. Anyway, well, enough on me, enough on me. Um, this, this restaurant is fantastic. You know, I find it fantastic. You. It's in Cold. Well, tell us about how you started. And I know, I, let's not talk about the one on Long Street. I don't know what happened to the one on Long Street, but just, just talk about this. Uh, how did you start so, and why did you start this? So this uh, restaurant started in 1999 mm -hmm. by uh, my mother and father. Really? Yep. And uh, we've been here now for 22 years. Mm -hmm. We've managed to claw through COVID and we're still here. Um, the restaurant has really transformed itself over time. Um, the initial concept for the restaurant was you could come in and uh, everything had price tags. So you could buy the table you were sitting at, the chair, the candelabra, mm -hmm. the, uh, the, the, the light fittings, mm -hmm. all of that. Uh, you could buy your beret. Mm -hmm. And then over time, it's changed. Um, now we've introduced a smokehouse. So we do amazing ice spine brisket in our own smokehouse here. Well, well, and, just break that down for me. I, I know I look like I'm sophisticated, but smokehouse sounds whatever, you know, just... just What's, you, you have the meat live, or what? What I mean, you, you cook, cook it, you kill it live. I mean, what do you mean? By no, that? no, no, no. Even though we live, we, even though we're in Africa, we we're uh, we're <laughs> not that far behind. So we've built a beautiful smokehouse. Okay. Uh, we use specific wood called oak wood. Okay. Um, the where fire you, where, is where, made. Where do, you, where do you get it from? You use the, the, the the wood is local. Right. That's so we so we get the the the, the oak wood, which mm. is local. Mm. We create a fire in a smokehouse, which is actually at a very low temp, mm -hmm. between 100 and 125 degrees. Mm -hmm. And the, the meat goes in there, mm -hmm. ice spine, um, your chicken, mm -hmm. and, um, and then what happens is it cooks for three to four hours at a low yes. heat. Yes, okay, yes. And it's beautifully smoked, tender. Um, we introduced that not so long ago, which is going very well. And mm -hmm. uh, we do great, amazing cocktails. We're known for our cocktails. We're, uh, we have a cocktail special on Monday to Thursday, 50 Rand special for all cocktails. Hey, wait, today's, today's Friday. Today's Friday. You've missed oh, it, man. <laughs> man. I just flew into town last night. Why don't you let me know? No, 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 no. If I got to go to East Cape, maybe when I come back through, I'll, I'll be able to do that. Anyway. Yes. Go ahead, go ahead. Um, this, this, this institution is, is, is a legend. Locals oh, yes. know it. Internationals yes, yes, yes. know it. Yes, yes. Uh, it's known throughout the world. Mm -hmm. A couple of years ago, we were approached by... Um, a big, a big uh, restaurant chain group that was putting together the best 100 restaurants of the world. Okay. And uh, they selected us, mm -hmm. and uh, so we managed to get into that. Mm -hmm. So we're in the book for the most spectacular 100 restaurants in the world. Okay, I thought you were going to say they were, they were going to try to make you a chain. No, uh, no, 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 no. This is a family-run no, no. business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So at the oh, moment... I'm sorry, what did you do? Your mother and father are still with us? They? Yes, they're both still with us. Uh -huh. They're legends. They they do want to retire now. Mm -hmm. They're uh, 71 and 72 years old. That's young chickens. You know how old, you know, you know how old I'm going to be in July, July 3rd? 60. 72. Amazing! You look great. Oh, well, that, you that's, look great. That's dude. because I, I'm, try, I'm almost as happy as you are. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, I'm you wondering. look. You don't look stressed. You look uh, happy. You look healthy. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Are you, you doing could... stretching and yoga in the morning to keep well, all that? Uh... Well, I walk every day. That's for sure. But um, I, I think it's like a, 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 some sort of weird inner joy. You know, yes. I, 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 I don't. I just. I, I, when I say I stress, I let it all out. But it's just some sort of weird inner joy. I mean. I am joyous these days. It's amazing to me. Just these days, since COVID, see, I got stuck in the States because I live in the Eastern Cape. So my wife's in the Eastern Cape. Well, so, yes. so I got stuck in the States for like almost two years. Well, I was like, well, a year and then I came back. Yes. Stuck. But there, because you have to be alone or whatever have you, I really was thinking and thinking and just, I don't know, just weird injustice. I don't want to say some sort of weird enlightenment. I don't want to be like yes. Sagu and say, I have enlightenment. You, you know what like happened? That. You know what happened? I think a lot of the world has realized mm. that they don't need all the paraphernalia mm. you actually need very little mm. to exist and to be happy mm. and i think a lot of people have found inner joy with what they have oh i say what you think but see i've always i'm, I, I'm very low to the ground yes all my life 
Yes. At one point, I did own a very big house, but then I just chucked it. And I was, I've been living, I've been traveling with. Just leave me alone. This place is so interesting because wherever you sit, it's like oh, you got yeah. you, what, no, what, it's what, all what, candy what, everywhere. Yeah, what, what, this is this is this is the, this is the ocean. This is the, this the Indian Ocean. We still we still Atlantic or just the Atlantic Ocean. This here? is the Atlantic. This is the Atlantic here, the yes. mighty Atlantic. Okay, so the Atlantic is out there. You see that? You, well, I'll just turn this around for a second. You even got the boats and all that stuff. Right there. Yeah, this is Cork Bay Harbor. So these are all fishing trawlers. They bring in mm. fresh fish daily. Mm -hmm. uh, they bring in tuna. They bring in yellowtail. They bring in hake. And you use it. And you, you use it here too. Yes, yes. Right so out of the sea. Right out of the sea, fresh. The they, gills, the gills are still doing the thingy. Totally. Wow. They're off the boat. Literally, look. Here comes a boat now coming in. They've been out since um, probably four in the morning. Mm -hmm. Lights are still on. Fresh fish, we go down to the harbor mm. and uh, we've got a great relationship mm -hmm. with the harbor. Mm -hmm. We work hand in hand, it's a very symbiotic mm -hmm. relationship. And uh, so we have a daily fish special, so whatever's the freshest out of the ocean, mm -hmm. we put on our, our menu. Wow. Uh, and you can, you can actually taste the difference, no? Oh, absolutely. Oh, I mean, right. it's literally, it's, 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 if I say an hour out of the ocean, it's true. Mm. Let me ask you one thing. We have the train tracks here. We do. Trains that I'm running very. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not talk about that. No, but they do run. They do run. So, so you're sitting here in the train that, and the choo choo comes along, huh? Okay. Yeah, That's yeah. Good. It's right here, literally a meter from us. Yeah, yeah. No, which, no. I uh, saw the. I'm gonna show this thing that. There's the train tracks right here. Oh, yeah. Wow. Hopefully the train comes past. Now, oh, look here comes another boat. See the guys are all coming in. Uh -huh, uh -huh. It's uh, fresh fish time. Well, I can tell you this: there was a train that's supposed to leave Cape Town at eleven, at, at quarter to eleven. Yes. And uh, I was, I was, ooh, I was, I was, uh, I was around like a, was it like quarter after nine? I said, I'm not waiting for this train. I took the taxis, you know, to Weinberg and then yes. took Weinberg to here. But um, I like, I love train travel. So maybe we'll, I'll, I'll, I'll see the train. But mm -hmm. I wanted to ask you, this whole thing about, I mean, outside you got the little, the, the, the swinging things, or whatever happened. Yeah, you. the little, the, like the hammocks. Yeah. The, the, so, so when you see outside, we've got the huge beach area. Mm -hmm which is also covered. So on a Saturday and Sunday, we do live music. Ah, We've okay, got okay, a very massive okay, platform okay. to promote mm -hmm. local musicians because mm -hmm. they've taken a lot of strain through COVID, you know, with everything locked down. Mm -hmm. There were no venues to play at. Mm -hmm. um, so now we promote that every Saturday, Sunday mm -hmm. from 3 o'clock to 6 p.m. Mm -hmm. uh, this weekend, we've got a great band playing called Smokestack. They're like a, a real bluesy, gruff voice young young guys if you shaved all their beards off you'd mm. think they're still at school mm. but they're amazing mm. and then we've got one of our biggest maybe not our biggest probably one of our most international acts called lonesome dave mm. dave ferguson is called the one man band he plays in a monica mm -hmm. and then he loops the sounds he makes everything himself all by himself mm -hmm. uh he played over in louisiana mm. he played all over the states mm -hmm. it's very well known um, in those circles mm -hmm. so he's playing on sunday mm -hmm. it's very well followed mm -hmm. um and then yeah we, we sell amazing cigars we promote local and our menus also it's cuban but cuban is is a very uh, limited menu mm -hmm. so we kind of put a south african twist to it we add a few things um so the menu's great and uh, we, we, we try and promote as much local as possible, mm -hmm. you know? Well, that's, that's wonderful. You know, when I was in Cuba, it was kind of interesting because, like, when you go to a museum, right, what they say, or at least they had a sign that says, locals are free. Mm. Everybody else has to pay. <laughs> <laughs> we should do the same. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. You, you lose no. Now, now you, have, you, you have this Hemingway thing. I guess that's new to me. I haven't seen that Hemingway. Well, I haven't been here a long time. Yes. The Hemingway, you have a Hemingway bar, but I saw you. Is, is Hemingway a draw or something like that? Or well, 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 Hemingway lived in yeah. Cuba for many years. Yeah, yeah, I, I, and he was I, a writer I, and all of that. Yeah, so I went, uh, I, went to, I went to the bar that he hung out with. You know, yes. Cuba, and like, yeah, 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 yeah. So, so we love that and we've just brought that back, you know, with mm. uh, the Shea and Hemingway. Mm. It's a huge part of Cuba. He loved fishing. Mm -hmm. Hemingway mm. lived lived by the kind of by the, the tale of mm. um, if it's not if it's not good, then life isn't good. Ooh. And he okay. also like also used to say that he never trusted anybody that didn't drink, because <laughs> he yeah. liked to drink and fish, and yeah. enjoyed women and enjoyed the good life of Cuba. Yeah. Back yeah. then, it was uh, yeah. still free, you know, yeah. Yeah. and yeah. Uh, yeah. and everything good about it. Well, the the, the last thing for you, Dylan, I want to keep you because you know your, your guy got to work. Uh, I'm gonna eat. I wish I could stay and 
experience the uh, band tonight, but I don't really have that kind of transportation. Maybe I, um, what, what, when, when, they, when are they starting to play? Uh, Saturday, three o'clock. Oh, no, not, not, oh, that's not tonight. It's tonight, not we Friday. have a, a I keep DJ. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, who's the DJ tonight? DJ Jacques. So he plays kind of a kind of eclectic lounge, mm -hmm. uh, evening music, oh, the twist of a bit of wonderful. 80s and a bit of 90s. Oh. Yeah. Well, I got to go back up to the States in, in, in uh, August. So maybe I'll come through like uh, a week before and spend some time in Cape Town and maybe, uh, you know, come Perfect. Somebody. Please, you're most welcome. Yeah. But the, the last thing really is um, your, your parents, um, they, you say they're about to retire. How do they feel? Uh, actually, actually, ask them how they feel about it. But how yeah. do you feel about that? I think you know they've they've worked really hard creating this place. They've mm -hmm. put in many hours, blood, sweat, and tears. Mm -hmm. um, I, I'm very glad that they've actually wanted uh, us as the younger blood, new generation, mm -hmm. to come in mm -hmm. and research the magic, mm -hmm. keep the goodness going, and uh, prep us for the next 22 years. Mm -hmm. We're very happy about that. We we're actually very proud of them building such a legacy. Now, how many of how many of you are they? <laughs> how did they they're living it? It's you and who else? Uh, well, the whole family is here. So my whole family is here. I'm married to the daughter, and their daughters are twins. So okay. I have a twin, mm -hmm. and uh, the other twin. Mm -hmm. But they're they're not into the restaurant business. Okay. Um, and then there's my brother-in-law and myself. Mm -hmm. And him and I, as a team, are amazing. Okay, so basically it's two or four people, what are you saying? Two, just two, the two, two of us. Two. Yeah. Okay, no, but you have that drive. I, I, you know, you can sense when somebody has that drive, you know what I mean? Yes. But I, I feel you have such, you have such a, how we say, Hemingway passion about what you're yes, doing here. Yes, absolutely. I really like it. Okay, uh, Dylan, thank you so very much for talking to us. Um, and, it's uh, such were, a pleasure. Anytime, guys. Lovely to have you here. Okay. Please come back. I will. I mean, now you guys know where it is. Uh, We're in Cork Bay, Cape Town. Uh, if you ever want to come have some magic, come along. We're always happy to see you and uh, we'll make sure that your, your, your stay and your experience is uh, as good as we say it is. There you go. A little, a little message from, from Dylan and me, T, from the Pattersons, <laughs> taking the trains to bed, letting you know what I only suspect.